Hi friends, today we see how to implement the decision trees. In earlier video, we have seen how a decision tree is built using the impurity measure. Now we take the same data to implement this decision tree. First of all, we see the data here. See, this is our data. We have a data with 15 records. This is our target label. Using these features, we have to de determine whether the car goes fast or not. To implement this decision tree, uh, we import certain libraries. We import NumPy library, Pandas. See this matplotlib uh, inline is is easy to print the graphs inline. For suppose, if you look here, when there is a no, if you do not write matplotlib inline, we cannot see the graph. But when we write inline, we can see a graph is plotted. Now I'll import uh, sklearn package to import tree module from where we can get the decision tree classifier and also we import other modules like uh, metrics model selection and preprocessing and also we import this ipython dot display display the images and also pi dot plus to nicely visualize our uh, end decision tree graphs uh, since my data is in csv format using this command i load the data now if we run this i am getting top five rows now we will see this uh, what is information present here see these are all null, null objects now I'll just copy them to and the data frame now we will do some some data pre-processing in the data pre-processing step first step I will do is I will drop the model column if you look here this model column is unique value this unique values are no use in design decision trees so I am dropping this column since our data is string categorical we have to convert them into numerical categorical values so to in order to convert them into numerical values i'll make use of these commands see first i'll convert null objects to categories so using this command i'm converting that particular column to category and then using this command each category assigned with some numerical values similarly for all the categories i do this step and all those columns will be converted to num categorical value and then they are converted to corresponding numerical values if you look here now I will find the information of the data see now in our data this is a, these are all things they are now all converted to category type and these category types we have converted them into integer values we look how this data looks now so we will see what are the total columns here now we will see how the data looks here see we can see these attributes these are string categorical attributes and we have converted them into corresponding numerical attributes now we will drop this string categorical attributes using the drop command see now after dropping it we are only left with numerical cat categorical attributes this is our target this fast code is our target variable and these are our feature attributes these are the features from these features we have to decide whether the car goes fast or not zero represents car do not go fast one represents car goes fast now from this table of 15 rows we will convert them into train and touch parts similarly since our data is very small i am picking the same samples within the training input this should not be happen actually we should get separate we not to test the data we have to get the new data since it is only example I'm picking the same train data as our test data now we create an object to our decision tree classifier class and then in the decision tree classifier there is another method called fit to train the model we have already got the train this x is our train, train data and y is our target data. So this is our decision tree classifier model. Here we are using guinea impurity measure to get the node impurity. Now there will be another method called predict. I will making the predictions here. Okay, if you print here, I am printing the prediction and our test results, test values. So there is a mismatch here. Now we will evaluate the model. I am measuring the test. Uh, original test and the predicted values how many are wrongly classified and then 
this our accuracy measure to test how good is our model see there is one wrongly detected we can see here there is one wrong detection at the third node so our accuracy measure is 80 percent though we have taken the same within the training data but uh, still we got the error since our small data it is we can easily expect this sometimes we get 100 percent accuracy also that's okay and sometimes we get very very low accuracy too now we will see how actually that model looks like we now to visualize a tree we will make use of pi dot plus we already imported here right i python display and plot dot pi dot plus these are required here to visualize the final decision tree model first of all we export this uh, graph is graph is tool so we want pi dot plus and also this graph fish is required this is our uh, model tree this is our uh, trained model tree if you want the output file we can fill here and what are the features we are providing these things we have to specify for easy understanding and what are the class labels we will specify here and using this pi dot plus and uh, dot data we'll make the image to visualize okay see earlier also we have manually we have also did our calculations it started with fuel economy as our attribute this is how it flows this is how the graph looks till now we have seen this mod we have built this model with guinea impurity measure now we will see we build the other uh, decision tree model with entropy measure how we will do you can see here similarly again i'm taking see we have this model selection every for masculine package we have these modules from there we can man we can automatically split the train and test data from model selection we got train split x we will be splitting this x train data and label data into x train and y train this is how we can do these things i am running this so i got x train x test y train y test separately here you can see out of 15 da 15 rows 14 rows are for training and one row is for testing see i'm building the model tree decision glacier with the entropy criteria and i'm pruning here we know we, we are doing pruning to overcome the war fitting so we can i am just pre pruning here and sp by specifying the depth in earlier case we didn't do any we didn't specify the depth so here we are doing the pre pruning with we are restricting it depth to be three it input train data and target input target data now similarly i'm using the predict method to predict the from x text there is only from x text i am doing this see whether this is wrongly predicted or not we will see the accuracy measure for only one test data okay there are now we have only picked up one test value and it has predicted correctly for in this case so we got our accuracy as 100 but uh, this model cannot be uh, we cannot be trusted because our data is very less we took a sample of 15 samples generally generally our data our data samples to, to train a model in general uh, we got a here we got the accuracy 100 but this mo model cannot be trusted because we train with very less amount of data generally data should be very large to get better accuracy similarly to visualize it in graphical way same we have to we have the we have we must have this graph is and pi dot plus and we have to specify the trained model and the feature names for clear, clear feature names and class names here and use this so i think you got how a decision tree classifier works thank you